Hello everyone. I have received a message that I should invest in Berger paints. So, in my cell phone. Now, let us see what is the financial position of Berger paints and based on fundamentals whether we should invest in Berger paints or not. I have the financial ratios here with me. The face value of the share is about 1 rupee and now it's uh, cost of the market value market cost is about 228 rupees 0.45 paisa so 228 times the face value you are paying and dividend per share is only 1 rupee 65 paisa okay so and then operating profit per share is only 8 rupees 76 paisa net operate uh, okay so it is very very less operating profit is less and bonus in equity capital is 73.38 they are going to and cashing, they are in cashing their reserves. Now let us see the profitability margins. The operating profit margin has gone up from 11% in dot to 14.7%. For a paint business, 14% uh, is I think is less. Okay, a profit before interest and tax has gone up from 8% to 12%. Gross profit margin has gone up from 9% to 12%. Cash profit margin has gone up from 7.9% to 10.6%. Net profit margin is around 8.5% and return on capital employed is 35%. It was earlier 29% has gone up to 20, 35% and return on net worth has gone up from 23% to around 23.5. It remained around 23.5. In between 2014 and 15, it has gone down to 20%. Return on assets excluding special has gone up from, has remained around 217 to 21.8%. Now, based on this, what is the conclusion that we can draw? Okay, it means the company is not paying much dividends. That is one conclusion that we can draw. Okay, second is it is not earning much per share. That is also another conclusion that we can draw. Okay, so it is only a technical and tactical play. It is not a fundamental play. It, there are many, many more companies which are running terms and terms, number of terms times the amount that this company is earning. That is the conclusion. So, now how does it, it's an efficient company, no doubt. It is earning reasonable amounts, that is also no doubt. If you want to have a good company, a reasonable company with a very reasonable return and with nil or very little uh, dividends, then you can go for this company. No dividend income will be there. Okay, now let us see the other financials of this company. Its current ratio has come down from 1.48 to 1.27, it should be 1.33, it is marginally not correct and the quick ratio is from 1.17, it has come down to 0.7, it should be 1, again it is marginally not correct and debt equity ratio 0.22 to 0.04, the debt is very very low, so it is a, almost a debt, 0 0.04 is almost a debt free company and debt coverage, interest coverage is 32 times, it is very very comfortable. Okay, debt to owners fund is 0 0.04 and financial charges coverage issue is 37, very comfortable. Financial charges coverage post tax is 26 times again is very comfortable. So, its a tax liability is not also very high. Management efficiency ratios if you see, and it has remained around 5 to 6 percent inventory turnover. Okay, data turnover has remained from 9, around 9 percent. Okay, that is not very encouraging. It should be more than because this is a fast moving good, the paints. And it should be faster, more, more than 99. Nine. Investment turnover is around 5 to 6. And fixed asset turnover and is 5 to 3. It has come down from 5 to 3. Total asset turnover is from 2.8. It is reduced to 2.6. Okay. So, it is not a very encouraging sign. Uh, turnovers are not very encouraging. The management efficiency is not good. The number of days of working capital they are holding. In 2012, it was 82 days. Now, it has come down to 40 days. That shows slightly improvement, slight improvement in okay, in the working capital usage. That means they have tried to reduce on the cost side. They are unable to increase uh, on the income side. So, they have concentrated on cost side. They have reduced their costs very, very substantially. The material cost composition of profit and loss has come down from 67 percent to 56. Imported composition has come down, uh, gone up from 19 to 33 percent. That means they are importing more raw materials because of the cost considerations from out other countries rather than buying it inside. So, that is another, another conclusion. 
expenses as compared to the total sales 0.11 it's come down to 0.06 it's a very good effort expenses have been reduced and uh, as a lot of effort has gone into reducing the expenses in this particular company and cash flow indicators the dividend payout ratio is only 32% 27 to 32 it's static okay then earning retention ratio is 67% it is earning 72% it's a high earning retention company okay so based on these we can say that it's a efficient company last one year 15 16 it is in concentrating on cost reduction cost uh, and uh, controlling of the cost its expenses have come down very very drastically it has gone in for uh, imports to reduce its uh, cost of raw materials and uh, because the efficiency of the company is good it is uh, there is not much of a problem in uh, say recommending it for uh, say investing but one thing you have to be very sure this is not a company for uh, dividends this company will pay you very very few, little dividend so you may have to uh, go in uh, for it only for the price movement or the price increase or for the fact that it is a well known company in paint business and it is efficiently run company thank you very much